College of Engineering, CYCU, was founded in 1955. Chongyuan Christian University was known as Chongyuan Christian College of Science and Engineering, with engineering department founded since then. At the time, there were departments of chemical engineering and civil engineering. Moving with the demand of the time for different fields, mechanical engineering, biomedical engineering, and environmental engineering were consecutively founded. Responding to the environmental issues we face today, College of Engineering is researching into sustainability studies. The topic of sustainability is a multidisciplinary one. It wouldn't be solved by just one department, but requires multidisciplinary talents to research into collaboratively. The industry requires not one singular department's talent. It needs a diverse range of talents to work together. So to cultivate students' ability in a multidisciplinary way is something we highly value. Our professors' research are fundamentally both theoretical and practical. This means our professors' researchers are always trying to solve industrial practical problems. If the industry needs technical upgrades, a creative element is a must. So College of Engineering hopes to cultivate students to not simply be an engineer, but a professional that possesses creativity. So as to help the industries update and develop, if students possess creativity, they need to realize it, bring it to life. So we also highly focus on nurturing students' hands-on ability. Through many laboratory classes in each department, students are able to realize the theory by hands-on practice to finish the project confidently. So College of Engineering fosters students in a multidisciplinary, creative, and hands-on practical way. Chemical engineering, also known as engineering for livelihood, has to do with people's lives and the things people use every day. Chemical engineering is essential in College of Engineering. In life, apart from people themselves and living things like trees and organisms, everything is made from chemical engineering. Semiconductor, Taiwan's most esteemed industry, is also a field under chemical engineering. Applied from mobile phones all the way to the military industry, all of these require the delicate foundation of chemical engineering. CYCU Department of Chemical Engineering has three engineering divisions. Green Energy Processing Engineering, Biochemical Engineering, and Material Engineering. These three divisions were specifically separated and identified, as chemical engineering is very broad. Green energy is to do with the energy crisis people are facing in the world today. Apart from nuclear energy, we hope to dive deeper into the discussion where we could cut down energy consumption in chemical manufacturing processes. So green energy reflects the need of this era. Biochem is what humanity has always been proactively developing during this century. All kinds of resources are being allocated in this field. The third division is materials engineering. No chemical engineering can escape from raw materials, and each raw material has its unique property. Material study is irreplaceable. Department of Chemical Engineering has a number of teaching specialties. We partner with more esteemed and sizable industry, inviting these companies to CYCU for lecturing. For example, Taiwan Plastic, Everlight Chemical, and Taiwan Printed Circuit Association, they bring their classes to our students. These earlier alumni from Chemical Engineering Department are already in management levels within these industries so they are particularly welcoming to their CYCU fellow graduates. Half of our students' career paths are taken in conventional industries. The other half are in the semiconductor industry, with the most famous being TSMC. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company only hired people from the top public universities. Now they list CYCU chemical engineering as one of their priority considerations. Many companies are beginning to inquire into CYCU chemical engineering department and plan into CYCU campus before our students graduate. I can feel how welcome they are towards our graduates of chemical engineering. Civil engineering is people's engineering. It's in our everyday lives. Most simply, it's in where we live. Apart from living in our own houses, we also operate our days in libraries, departments, and school buildings. We drive on roads built with road engineering, bridge, tunnel, metro rail, railway, and high-speed rail engineering are all within the boundaries of civil engineering. 
With the intellectual and digital waves, looking forward in the long run, civil engineering will move from maintenance to making public infrastructures have a higher service quality. In other words, it's moving towards civil engineering management. CYCU Department of Civil Engineering has five categories. Apart from structural engineering and geotechnical engineering, we also have hydraulic engineering, transportation engineering, and construction engineering. In the first and second year, we focus on fundamentals in civil engineering, starting from applied mechanics, mechanics of materials, all the way to the structural analysis. With these fundamental trainings, at third and fourth year, students have choices to take various selective courses. For example, structural health monitoring and damage detection, or natural hazard mitigation. We can approach these with image processing, big data algorithms, or even AI calculations to cultivate students to become 21st century new bred civil engineering talents. We are a very well-bonded department. There's a CYCU alumnus in USA. He's currently living there running a large construction company. Through him, our summer camp can bring our students to University of Washington to experience a whole summer's internship. And this is just one of many opportunities alumni provides us. The example I just gave was an international one. There are plenty of internship opportunities domestically as well. Other than consultancies, there are also many construction companies. I believe civil engineering students will be able to immerse in various fields and find a path most fitting to them. That's the path where they can shine the most. Many, especially high school students, think mechanical engineering is just a department to disassemble and assemble. What does one actually learn in mechanical engineering? Mechanical engineering is mechanics applied on machine engineering. What it touches is actually very broad. We can think about things next to us, like scooters, cars, and planes. Even semiconductors, being our most powerful field, it too concerns with mechanics. Manufacturing has to do with mechanics. Energy engineering has to do with mechanics. National defense and aviation also has a lot to do with mechanics. All these are bounded within mechanical engineering. CYCU Mechanical Engineering is unlike other universities' mechanical engineering. We emphasize that theory must come with practicality. Step by step in classes are the fundamental courses and training being laid. We have an internship factor to equip students with machining operations, techniques, and skills for modern tools. We hope that students can cultivate the spirit of teamwork, whether in classes or activities. In their third year, we encourage students, whether they're interested in national defense or if they like energy, injection molding, semiconductors, then they choose a course to deepen that field. Taiwan values international companies more and more. When our students enter this market, they may be future leaders. Therefore, we have our industrial PhD program. During the study, they act as company's management trainee. Upon graduation, they could become high-level managers, so our students can receive a comprehensive, professional, and diverse training. CYCU has an educational philosophy. It uniquely defines success. What is success? We believe that full development of one's potential signifies success. Success is when one expresses his potential. We hope that a student willing to learn and grow, when they come to CYCU Mechanical Engineering, they are trying to deliver their potential. Biomedical engineering is a study that combines engineering and life sciences, and applying engineering and life sciences to help solve medical problems. Biomedical engineering is widely applied in our everyday lives. For example, many people use wearable devices, like smartwatch, to measure heartbeat and blood oxygen level. Now with AI, big data, and the application of AR, VR being considered, we have organized our classes with these in mind. So the first and second year are foundational classes, with a class called the Introduction to Biomedical Engineering. This is a one-year compulsory class. Teachers will communicate what biomedical engineering is. Some introductions will be made, allowing students to get acquainted with medical devices. In the second year, there are some more engineering and biological classes, including electronics, 
circuit theory, electronics practice, and biochemistry. Classes in the third and fourth year will be focusing on intelligent hospitals, digital health, and precision medicine. Separated into different programs, students can choose courses according to their interests. Areas of biomaterials, regenerative medicine, or perhaps towards the fields of medical electronics or medical informatics. The faculty will liaise with hospitals or medical equipment companies to allow internships for students during the summer vacation. Students can really understand the problems faced in the hospital or industry. Environmental engineering is very broad and wide, with many possibilities in various directions. Department of Environmental Engineering in the early days was leaning towards end-of-pipe treatments, which is dealing with the liquid and gaseous waste enterprises produced. But environmental engineering today, along with the advancement of time, has far surpassed this boundary. We now go to the front of pipe point of view to work preemptively, which means before the wastes are produced. We're already thinking and designing products for enterprises on how to produce less to no wastes to achieve higher level of eco-friendly sustainability. So we are very intertwined with the progression of industries. In the near future, circular economy and zero emission are all within the area of environmental engineering. From this, we can see how broad environmental engineering is. As for our course design, the first year is filled with mostly engineering foundation courses. In second year, we include fundamental environmental engineering courses. From third year onwards, more professional courses are introduced such as water supply engineering, wastewater treatment engineering, and air pollution control. Courses are progressively introduced. And in reaching fourth year, we have organized a capstone course for environmental engineering. Students combine their experiences from the three years prior to integrate and apply it in this last course. Further, we are very much connecting with industries, so we currently have seven major career programs. Being practical environmental engineering, soil and groundwater pollution control, circular economy, climate change, environmental education, environmental monitoring and IoT, and environmental safety and health. Because we are the youngest department, our professors' researchers are also faster paced to accommodate the change of times. For example, a very hot topic right now is circular economy and net zero emission. We are quite early in setting up courses in these topics to a point where our hiring process is directed in these specific directions, so we are faster in adjustments. Should Taiwan move towards zero emission, this process is very painful, and it requires big amounts of resources of all kinds. To enterprises, this is a painful yet necessary change. But for our students of environmental engineering, this is an opportunity. As resources starts to pour into this field, I believe that our students having been trained in the way provided, they will be able to provide consolidated aid after graduation to industries undergoing the process to zero emission. College of Engineering CYCU is listed within the top thousand college of engineering in the world. Especially the paper citation rate for chemical engineering, material science and engineering, and environmental science are within the top three in Taiwan. College of Engineering CYCU values international collaboration. For example, University of Tokyo, Nanyang Technology University Singapore, Mapua University Philippines. These opportunities help broaden the students' horizons. Also, we have applied for GCSP, an international elite program with the U.S. National Academy of Engineering. GCSP program is only available in two universities in Taiwan and College of Engineering CYCU is one of the only two. This program helps our students to partner with professors on various engineering projects and then produces a thesis. Topic of thesis may be research studies the world is focusing on. Students can obtain a certificate before graduation and it will be beneficial for students when they go for overseas schools. So this is a very reputable college. We welcome every domestic and international student to study at departments in College of Engineering, CYCU.